Hey all you beautiful people, it's brunch time, so let's make some coffee, get some Nescafe. Welcome to the United States. I'll tell you, uh, there are five countries that will actually pay you, pay you to move over there. You know, pick some to help you with relocation. So the number one is Chile. If you're an entrepreneur or an innovator with a business idea, you can move to Chile and they promise to give you $50,000 uh, a year worth of visa and uh, a huge Rolodex of uh, business contacts to help your business. Um, you know, as also some office space, they'll help you with that if you move over there. So Chile has fifty thousand dollars plus one year of visa, which is uh, renewable. Uh, the t uh, the term is uh, you have to stay for six months at least uh, over there, and then you can operate your business uh, from anywhere and your business must have global potential. So the potential to impact the economy significantly and you have to show that it will significantly impact Chilean economy and create uh, Chilean jobs or there are some like raw materials or labor or some other benefits like location, geopolitical or geostrategic uh, that is uh, hell, uh, vital to your business being situated in Chile and your business contributing to Chilean economy. Okay, the number second one is um, Canada. So if you are a recent graduate from Canada, you can get uh, about 20,000 Canadian dollars tax-free as actually a tax credit um, that is applied for 10 years. So you don't have to worry if your income is, uh, uh, you know, like not tax saving. So it is applied over 10 years, you get 20,000 Canadian dollars. Um, the third one is Ireland. If you move over there, they have uh, money for you and help you with visa. Uh, the fourth one is New Zealand. There's a town over there that um, you can get house for only $165,000 of uh, houses that have a retail price of about $395,000. Um, and uh, you know final one is united states of america there are plenty of cities like detroit that actually help you uh, with tax credits and rental so if you buy a house um, you know you will get tenants um, because its economy had crashed in 2008 you know the, there was countrywide financial that ceased to exist and there was too much subprime lending and lending to people who simply cannot afford such homes so it all came down. There was collateralized debt obligation, CDO, and mortgage-backed security that imploded and the whole Wall Street and the world imploded. Um, the world is still recovering from that $80 trillion worth of shock per year and like count that over 10 years. So that's $800 trillion, not counting real estate. That's like $1,000 trillion plus. Especially in US, every house they sell for a million plus, you know, in Silicon Valley, New York, uh, any major city, Los Angeles, um, any place, any major city, metro, you know, homes cost a million dollars plus and uh, with, multiply that with 300 million residents, you know, um, uh, so like say, if generally couples, uh, parents stay separately, so like two per household, so 150, well, with children, so maybe, like there are at least like 100 million homes, many people own multiple homes, so 100 million homes, uh, uh, at 1 million also you know you do the math that's quite a bit and then there is farmland and all that okay guys like share and subscribe please make my video who's viral welcome to the uh, republic of wadia the dictator help the dictator out um, by subscribing liking and sharing aggressively on social media